hey guys it's me Talha so here is another addition to facade modeling tutorial series on my channel in today's video we will be modeling this cool looking facade design in Revit but before we get started I would like to recommend checking out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you find my content beneficial you can also support my work on patreon and help me continue creating Revit tutorials every week anyway let's get started so here I am in Revit and as usual first we are going to create some new levels. So let's select this one and I am just going to press CS on the keyboard to create similar and we will create uh, 6 more of these here. So I have created total 7 levels here. So there are a couple of ways to model this kind of uh, shape in Revit. You can either use uh, roof by extrusion to create this shape or you can use in place mass as well so in this tutorial we will be using in place mass to create uh, this uh, kind of a shape so let's go back to Revit and uh, let's go to level 1 here and go to massing inside and first let's click show mass button and then in place mass let's click ok and first we want to create a couple of reference planes here so let's select reference plane and I'm just going to pl uh, create a reference plane here another one at uh, 35 feet maybe perfect now let's name this reference planes let's select this one and I'm just going to call it uh, 1 and this one should be 2 so we have these two reference planes let's go to the elevation I'm just going to go to the south elevation here and we can start uh, creating uh, this shape so let's select line from here and we'll get this uh, dialog box here just set the work plane to reference plane 1 let's hit ok so first we'll create, create a 25 feet line here which is going to be the width of the building let's hit enter and we can use it as a reference as well so let's create it an angle line from the middle of this line which we have just created until this level and we'll draw a straight line here and then another angled line here and the same now if it's difficult to select the midpoint you can just draw a vertical line from the middle and just just join that here and delete this one we can select line again and create a vertical line and another one now as you can see this time it snaps this uh, vertical line so we can just draw a line like this and then just create another one perfect now let's select all of these lines and just hold shift key and deselect this one and then press dm on the keyboard uh, to mirror let's mirror it from the middle here like so so we have created uh, this shape uh, of this building if I go to 3d you see it's just single lines so let's uh, create form out of these lines so before that we just need to select all of this okay I think we don't need this anymore let's delete that and select all of these lines and click copy to clipboard and then paste aligned to same place we get this warning just ignore that and you can see the lines are uh, still selected so now we can just simply change the host or the work plane let's select reference plane 2 there we go we got this lines on the other reference plane now let's select these lines here and hit uh, create form there we go we have created this form here if I change the visual style to shaded SD we'll be able to see this form now I will just select this these two lines here the vertical ones and click create form and you will uh, you will get these three options on you uh, somewhere on your screen for me it's showing up here so I will just select this uh, flat one there we go let's do that with this part as well create form and we have our basic 
form uh, for this uh, facade design is ready here now i think here we need to create the opening uh, for the floors so let's go to right view and then set the work plane let's select this face and then i'm just going to create a rectangle here and just make sure you have selected draw on work plane and then just create a rectangle from this floor like so now let's equally divide the distance on both of these sides so for that we can create a dimension on both of these sides and then tab select this line and just make it five feet on this side as well just hit tab key a couple of times to select this line and just edit this dimension perfect let's delete the dimensions and we have our uh, rectangle here just select that and this time we will create a white form there we go let's press escape once and select this face of this white form just hit tab key to highlight this face then we can just use this gizmo and just drag it through this void now we can just cut this void so let's go here select cut geometry make sure multiple cut is checked here and then uh, first click this void and then this form and then this one and the last there we go now we have finished modeling this form here we can now just uh, close the massing environment just click finish mass ignore this warning and let's use wall by face let's go to architecture select wall by face from this drop down and first let's edit this wall i'm just going to create a one foot wall one foot six inches just hit ok and we need to put the thickness here one foot six click ok ok again and let's select the face uh, uh, let's select the faces of this mass here first let's select that one and just click ok ok let's do that again wall by face select this face and then this uh, just click ok and right click recent commands wall by face and face uh, select that face let's select all of these faces here so so for this middle one we'll first change the location line to wall center line and then select this face there we go let's go to the elevation and select this wall and just drag it to the top as well as to the bottom and then we can just go to modify and join uh, these walls let's select join and select this wall and then this one and select this wall and then this one again and let's repeat that here as well perfect so it's so we got this structure ready here now i think we can turn off mass so for that we can just go to massing inside and just click here to turn it off but uh, as you can see it's still it's visible so we need to turn it off from the visibility graphics settings so let's press vg on the keyboard to open up this visibility graphics settings just look for mass here press m and it will take you directly to the mass here just turn it off hit apply okay there we go now it's looking a lot better anyway let's create the building here so let's go to level one and first i will create the walls let's go to architecture select wall and we'll create generic wall just make sure you have selected the finish face uh, interior and then create wall like this on this side as well i'll just hit space to flip it let's go to 3d and here we have our walls just select both of these and okay we can just simply select this one and drag it using this handle and just drag it to the to this uh, roof here like so let's repeat that on this side as well just drag it to the roof and it's looking a lot better now 
uh, we can create the curtain wall so let's go back to level one and select wall again and uh, let's select curtain wall from this drop down and we'll create one here it will snap the edge of the shape which we have created earlier let's create a curtain wall like this and then go to the south elevation and select this curtain wall it's actually not that visible but if i hover over the edge here it will highlight the curtain wall just click then edit profile use pick lines and just pick these lines here and then use tr and trim these lines and delete this one let's just hit finish go back to 3d see we have this curtain wall created here now we can use the same method to create a curtain wall on other uh, on other levels as well so let's select this one and just copy this to the other levels so let's go here select copy to clipboard and paste align to selected levels and we'll select i think it's level three so level three and level six then hit ok there we go we got this two curtain walls here and we'll first edit this one just select that edit profile and i'm just going to delete this profile and create a new one using pick lines just pick these edges and use tr again to trim the corners just click finish uh, and we can just mirror this to the side here but i want to mirror it later on after adding the mullions anyway let's edit this one edit profile delete pick lines and just pick these edges click finish and there we go let's quickly add the mullions to this uh, curtain wall let's go to south elevation and in order to add the mullions we first need to add curtain grid select that from here and i'm going to add a grid in the center and on each of these floors here let's do that here as well we'll add a vertical one in the center and two on each levels here as well one in the center and on this side i think we need we want to add a door so i will add one at seven feet and another one here uh, we'll add a couple of uh, grid lines here as well like so now we can simply use mullion and we will use this one and a half inch by two and a half inch rectangular and select all grid lines and then just hover over the grid here as you can see all these uh, grid lines on this curtain wall is now highlighted just click there we go let's add here as well and then uh, on this side we can just simply mirror this one to the other side just select that press dm on the keyboard to mirror and let's mirror it from the middle here okay i think line associated with a joint face has been moved so i think we should just delete this one and create a one uh, create a new one let's go to level three and create a new curtain wall here like so then we can just edit this delete this profile and use pick lines And let's add grid lines and then mullions just make sure we have selected the same mullions there we go now it's looking a lot better let's mirror these curtain walls to the other uh, other face of this building here so let's go to the west elevation and change the visual style to wireframe so we can see the curtain walls here just select all of them and filter click check none and just keep these walls checked 
because if you try to mirror it uh, with these curtain panels and a grid line selected uh, we won't be able to mirror it so make sure we have selected the walls because the curtain was also uh, included in the walls category so just make sure you have selected walls hit ok press dm and just mirror and it will automatically mirror the mullions as well let's quickly add the uh, add the floors so first we will add a floor on level one click finish and we can just copy this to the other levels so let's select that copy to clipboard and align to selected levels and just paste it on level two then we'll just edit this go to level two and just drag this line uh, until here click finish and we can now copy this floor to the other levels so let's click copy to clipboard paste align to selected levels let's select level 3 and hold shift key and click on level 6 then hit ok there we go so we have created this cool looking building in revit so that's it for this video i hope you have learned something new so please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my courses on learnrevitonline.com and if you find my content beneficial you can also support my work on patreon and help me continue creating revit tutorials every week and yeah i will see you guys in the next video